Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor for PCC. In this lesson, we are going to create PLC tags. I am going to open up the device configuration of the S7-1200 PLC. Then I am going to zoom in so that I can see the labels of the I.O. on the PLC. Now I will use the pan feature to pan over so that we can see the I.O. At the top of the PLC will be the digital inputs. At the bottom of the PLC will be the digital outputs that are built into the PLC. Down in the CPU properties, I'm going to go down to the I.O. addresses for the digital input. The starting address is byte 0 for the inputs and byte 0 for the outputs. For the analog inputs that are built in, the starting um, input addresses are 64. Those would be in the top right hand corner of the S7-1200 PLC. Now I will open up the default tag table and I can start entering in tags for my PLC. So I'm entering, entering in a tag now that's called my int value and I would have to pick the data type for the PLC so I'm going to use an integer and for this first tag I'm going to use the m memory region so it's going to be a word location so mw2 would be the word in the PLC for this particular tag. So I'm going to add in a new tag table and I'm going to rename the tag table and it is going to be called demo tags. So tag tables are used for organizing your tags so that you can put tags or group them by function in the PLC. So I'm going to open up the demo tags table and now I can enter in a tag for the first input on the PLC. I'm going to call it switch1. It defaults to bool and the address of i 0.0. There are Excel-like features in the table editor so I can just do an auto fill and it will auto populate or increment the tag names and IO addresses. So when I go back to the PLC hardware configuration you can see the tags that have been created. Next I'm going to select the IO tags tab for the PLC and when I scroll down to the input area you'll actually see the input tags. Now if I go to the output area for the first output, I can actually type in a tag name here and I will call this one light1. There are Excel-like features here in the IO tags as well, so I can use the auto fill feature and drag down and it will auto create the tags. From a tag table perspective, I can select which tag table the tag will be located in, use the Excel-like feature again for auto filling, and I'm going to change all of these tags to go into the demo tags table. So next, I will go down to the analog input area. So for the first analog input, I will type in pot1 for the name. For the second analog input, I'm going to call this one pot2. Then I will change the tag table from the default tag table to the demo tags. And then I can select the demo tags again for the second pot. The QW addresses would be for the analog outputs, but I will not enter in any tags for those now. I'm going to open up the default tag table and then select the user constants tab. Here you can create constants that will contain a value that can be used you know, throughout the program. So I'm going to create one called scale factor. The data type I will select as integer and then I will give it a constant value of 2. So now scale factor can be used throughout the PLC program. Next, I'm going to open up the Show All Tags view. This allows you to see all tags from all tag tables in one view. You can also configure the retentive settings in the Show All Tags view. However, I am going to open up the default tag table. And then you can see tags just in the default tag table. Now I'm going to open up the retentive settings and configure two bytes to be retentive. Now any tag that falls within the first two bytes will be flagged as retentive, so there'll be a check mark next to the tag. Next, I'm going to highlight my PLC, and I'm going to download the changes into the PLC. So now I will select Load, and hit Finish. There's a nice feature where you can open up a tag table. So my default tag table is open, and I am going to select Monitor. When I select Monitor, this will put me online with the PLC, and now I can monitor the values of the tags. So you can see the values changing and the monitor value. If I open up the Demo Tags table and select Monitor, you can actually see the values here as well. So if I flip switch 1, you can see the monitor value go true. Switch it back, it goes false. Now I'm going to select Go Offline. And this concludes the lesson on creating PLC tags.